connecting to Reverie Garden database.
Yo, didn't think you guys would beat us. Sorry to keep you waiting, kittens. Not at all. We only just got here ourselves. <laughs> the gang's finally back together. I honestly wasn't sure whether I should come, but you were kind enough to invite me, so how could I say no? Well, shall we get this celebration underway? Let the pre-party of the Thor's 220th class reunion begin!
Damn. <laughs> Gotta level with you guys. Today was more of a blast than I ever expected. That was your first time on campus in a while, so I'm not surprised you got into it. I'm glad I came too. Well, you're welcome back anytime. Students were happy to see you. So, once things have settled down in Jirai, you're planning to go travel all on your own. Right, Crow? That's the plan. I think I'm a smidge too old for journeys of self-discovery, to be honest. But I wouldn't even be here now if not for Ordeen and the rest. It makes me want to find meaning in my life, you know? Yeah. Huh. Well, make the most of it. My investigation into the Black Workshop is mostly done, so I'm asking if the Professor will let me stay at the Ruhr Institute. Nothing's gonna erase the bad I've put into the world. But that doesn't mean I can't try to put in some good. I think that's a good idea. Perfect, even. We're all living through a time of great change for the Empire. For the whole continent, really. The class system we've all accepted as an immutable part of Erebonian life is on its way out the door. That's why I need to talk to Father about what our family can do for the people of Nortia going forward. What about you, Toa? Have you decided whether you're going to leave the branch campus or not? You knew? <laughs> you forget. We four go way back. We figured it out ages ago. That's about the only thing that could be eating at you like this right about now. We're here if you need friends to talk it through with Toa. And that's what we're here for. To lean on when the going gets tough. Guys. All right. You win. You remember how I went around and helped multiple NGOs after graduating? One of those groups helps rebuild areas hit by disaster or war. And they resolve diplomatic disputes as a neutral party. Well, that organization's director got in touch with me recently. They said their goal was to help address the scars the war has left on the world. And they want me to help. Huh. I didn't think you'd been asked to help do something that big. Fits you like a glove, though. Between the Civil War, this last war, and the Trade Conference, you've shown you're great at desk work, negotiating, and so much more. I can see you really being able to make a difference in a place like that. Which must be what they see in you, too. I feel like they're overestimating me a little, to be honest. While the war might technically be over, we're still very much feeling its effects. It's been six months since we all came together to end the Great Twilight. But a great shadow still looms over us. Yeah. I mean, we were just talking about the hell being raised in Jirai and North Ambria. Crossbell's never not feeling it. And those who played a part in bringing it about still have atoning to do. Myself included. And then there are the people scarred by the war. You know what I think, Toa? I think you have your answer already. Yeah. Maybe I do. I can't deny it's a really important task. I'd likely be able to help the Empire and all of Zumeria far more in this role than if I were just to stay an instructor. Objectively speaking, I'm also sure I could handle the workload involved. Even so, I... <laughs> this takes me back to Thor's. Remember when we were in on those Arcus tests? You were totally bewildered as to why you'd been chosen at first. Oh. I really was. We were all good friends by that point. But I remember being so confused on why Instructor Sarah picked me. You and Crow were two of the most capable students in our year. George was one of Professor Schmidt's disciples and a highly gifted engineer in his own right. And then there was me. An ordinary girl who just knew my way around organizing files a little better than most. I don't know. If anyone else said they became student council president in the first year, I wouldn't believe them. That's something you handled like it was nothing, I might add. Even with the Arcus tests thrown into the mix. While on our field studies, you'd prepared the rest of the council for every kind of eventuality without fail. And then you still had the energy to support us by drafting up game plans and guiding us wherever we went. We would have been up shit creek without those. Sarah was some kind of slave driver on us innocent babes. You made it so we did more than squeak by on those tests. 
even made him a fond memory. You're the glue that holds us together, Toa. You're all gonna make me blush. I was only able to do all of that because I had you. You noticed how anxious I was and gave me a gentle push in the right direction. Having you all at my back gave me the strength to face forward. That's why I was able to handle everything. So much happened during our years at the Academy, both good and bad. But no matter how grim things looked, we always got through them by supporting each other. And before I knew it, I'd really come to love Thor's. And there was Class 7. I never could have dreamed when I met everyone that we'd make it through two wars together. But here we are. I doubt anyone could have seen all that's happened coming. It's been wild beyond belief, yeah. Remember when I died? <laughs> Fun times. I know we use humor to cope, but Hadios above, that is grim. Oh, you know, you technically never graduated, did you, Crow? Maybe you could enroll at the branch campus when your journey's all over. Finish up your studies. Seconding that idea, don't you want to study under Instructor Reen? Yeah, because I really want to hit those books. <laughs> There's a part of me that wishes I could turn back time and go through school all over again. I only enrolled at Thor's because I didn't want to run away from the importance of power in the military. But I got more than I ever bargained for during my time there. And I'm still learning so much by teaching at the branch campus. It was the connections we gained from being part of the Thor's family that let us overcome the Great Twilight. And I think those connections are just as important as the work I'd be doing as part of the NGO. Carrying the torch of camaraderie and cooperation forward however we can is our duty as the foundation of the world. Fair enough. Sounds to me like your course is set then. Just follow your heart, Toa. It won't lead you astray. If life takes you to a fork in the road and neither road feels right to tread, you forge a third path, all your own. That's how Reen's and how our group have always done it. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Angie. Thanks for helping me think this through, you guys. Eh, I just sat here looking pretty. Give it your best, Toa. We'll always be rooting for you. No matter how far apart we are or how much our paths diverge, that will never change. Never ever. <laughs> <laughs>